I got a great response from you guys after putting together the budget, or rather mainstream, AMD and Intel builds over the past few weeks, and I had a lot of fun putting them together too. So much so that I've decided to dive straight into another build log video series, but this time it's a little different. For this build, there's no real budget in mind. Instead, the mission is to create a really powerful 4K capable gaming rig that will be easy to lug around to lands or sit subtly in your living room or bedroom. Ever since AMD slashed the pricing of the R9 Nano, I've wanted to include two of these cards in a build, and this mighty mini portable build seemed like the perfect opportunity to do so. Complementing the Crossfire Nano cards will be the Intel Core i7-6700K on Gigabyte's awesome little Z170MX Gaming 5 motherboard. For good measure, 32GB of Kingston's Savage DDR4-3000 memory will be included, along with the Predator 240GB SSD as the boot drive. The Western Digital Black 6TB hard drive will also be included as a secondary storage device. All of this hardware will be built into the Thermaltake Core V21, a neat little micro ATX case that supports two dual slot graphics cards, which is perfect for a set of nanos, and will also look extremely cool and show off the hardware inside. Cooling the 6700K will be Thermaltake's Water 3.0 Ring RGB 240 all-in-one closed loop liquid cooler, and powering the system will be Thermaltake's Smart GPS-G 750 watt power supply. Before we benchmark this Crossfire Beast, I've recorded the build process and made a little time lapse for you guys too. At the end, I'll include some 3 d Mark Firestrike results, followed by a second, more in-depth benchmark video next week. So for now, bust out the popcorn and get comfortable. It's time to put this thing together.
Well that was fun, now I'm keen to see how the Dual Nanos perform in a few of the latest AAA titles as well as how they go with DirectX 12 performance at 4K in games such as Hitman and Ashes of the Singularity. So that's what I'll be doing for the next few days and you can expect to see those results next week. Until then, here's a screenshot of the 3D Mark Fire Strike Ultra Score of almost 7,000 points, which I believe is pretty decent for a dual nano setup. Personally, I don't place too much weight on these synthetic e peeny measuring tools, but I know Fire Strike Ultra is a popular benchmark, so I decided to include it anyway as a bit of a teaser. As always, I'm your host Matt, and I'll see you in the benchmark video next week.